Hello and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Ava Vig reporting from the IADC Asset Integrity and Reliability Conference in Houston. I'm here with Jennifer Eckert, Global Product Manager, Ingersoll Rand, who's going to talk about how to increase equipment reliability. Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Can you explain the three different approaches to maintaining equipment? Sure. We start out with reactive maintenance, which is really just something breaks, I go, I check it out, and I fix it. Um, really then from there, we move to what's called planned maintenance, and that's where you're looking at using time intervals and OEM guidelines to determine when should I be doing service work, inspections, and actual maintenance on the piece of equipment. And then really the third and final tier that w we want everyone to work towards is that preventative maintenance. So this is using data and real-time information to ascertain when the equipment needs to be maintained before it actually gets there so that you can plan ahead of time and avoid any unplanned downtime. So how can the industry move from reactive maintenance to planned and preventative maintenance? So really we look at three different aspects when it comes to that. So testing, timing, and technology. Looking at what are things that you can do on the piece of equipment while it's installed in place to actually determine the quality and the level of performance. So can you take oil samples? Can you um, use strain gauges to measure how the wear of the material is happening? Um, for technology, really looking at the Internet of Things, how do we start getting real-time data and actually be able to do uh, analysis and monitoring or have flags tripped and signals going off when things are getting from a normal operating condition to an abnormal operating condition? So Jennifer, in your presentation today, you talked about the four things that companies can start uh, doing right now. Can you elaborate on this? Absolutely. So I think the first thing is really understanding for each asset, what level of maintenance strategy is the right level? So is it a really high dollar critical piece of equipment or is it a more commodity piece of equipment where you're going to be looking at either replacement or some minimal maintenance? The second is really understanding the usage of that piece of equipment and how that impacts the time interval that you need to be doing to test or to maintain or to have an outside service person coming on board. Third is you really want to look at your schedule a along with other pieces of equipment and say, how do I align all these to be optimal to align with when I'm doing maintenance on other pieces or when I have downtime scheduled so that you're minimizing the disruptions to production. And then finally, you want to look at what options are out there to leverage technology today. Um, how does the Internet of Things allow me to get real-time data and communicate with that asset um, and actually then start doing some diagnostics with that? Well, Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And thank you, viewers, for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.